President Trump, it's an honor. Thank you. Um, I enlisted in the uh, Army Reserve because I love my country, like many of us do. Right. Uh, under Biden, our national security is at risk with endless wars. What is your plan to bring us back to peace? So, that's such a good question. So, you know, when I ran against Hillary Clinton, I don't use the word crooked anymore. I had Sleepy Joe, and I removed it into Crooked Joe. I thought it was slightly more accurate. But we had a situation going with all of these people, everything. They wanted to do, they wanted to say that I was going to create World War III. I was, look at him, look at him, he's a radical, look at him. I was a radical for not having wars. And if you look at Victor, Victor Orban, I'm hungry, strong country, strong man, he's a very powerful man, very runs it strong. He didn't take he didn't take illegal aliens, he didn't want them. He said, I want my people to be Hungarian, I don't want to have my shopping centers blown up, etc. etc. And they asked him a few weeks ago, they said, Let me ask you, Mr. Prime Minister, what's going on with the world? The world is blowing up. You have Ukraine, Russia, you have Israel, you have all these places that are at war with each other. What's going on? He said, There's one thing going on. He said, Donald Trump isn't president. If Trump is president, it's all going to end. They all respect it. So, so they said that, oh, look at, Hillary said this, look at Trump, just look at this guy. He's going to go to war. He's going to take us. No, no. Look at me. I'm the one that kept us out of war. For 78 years, it was 78 years until another president. Look, it's a long time. I kept you out of wars. I totally defeated ISIS. I rebuilt our military, and countries respected us. I totally rebuilt our military, and I rebuilt our veterans' administration. I took good care of our vets. Ninety-two percent of people. So we are going to we are going to uh, make sure that there's no wars. We don't want to have wars. I call them endless wars. I call them wars where people don't even want us involved. Now, Ukraine's a very interesting case because we spend hundreds of billions of dollars. And Europe, you know, don't forget, we have a little thing called an ocean in between us. Europe should be paying much more. Nobody asks them to pay more. I asked them to pay more for NATO, and they paid a lot more. That's where they got all the money, because they were all mostly delinquent, other than eight nations. But they would always say, Trump is going to get us into war with his attitude. No. My attitude kept us out of war. We defeated ISIS, totally defeated ISIS. We got out of Syria, we got out of Iraq. I got out of these wars because I'm a big believer. I want to spend our money in our country, doing our country's great things. Our country, you drive down our roads, you drive down our highways, our country's falling, falling to pieces, our infrastructure is falling. And then these guys, all they want to do is spend money on the Green News scam. It's a green new scale. I mean, the things they're spending money on, it's like throwing the money out the window. And we don't want to do that. We want to fix our roads and highways. We want to get rid of the electric mandate for the car. How about that? And by the way, I'm, I'm a big fan of electric cars. I'm a fan of Elon. I like Elon. But, you know? But if you want to buy a different type of car, you're going to have, a, you have to have a choice. Some people need to go far. Some people don't want their car built in China. Some people, you know, there are advantages to other, and basically what, people have to have a choice. And you know what? You have to have choice also in education. You can have choice of education, and you can have choice in what you buy. And that has to do with electric, the electric cars don't go far. And by the way, they're incredible. He does an incredible job with Tesla. But, and I tell him, I said, no. And I think he agrees with me, frankly. But you can't. They don't go far. Same thing with the trucking industry. I met with the trucking industry the other night. They said they want us to switch to electric trucks. They have to stop six times going to California with a load of diesel. They don't have to stop at all. How the hell can you do that? You're going to destroy our supply chain? You're going to destroy everything. You put everybody out of business. So we are going to do things based on common sense. We're not going to allow 
Thank you. I understand exactly. 